those the little dudes that oh they are <gasps> fuck <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of quick. They're kind of quick. And there are, there are many of them. There are not many. There are two of them. I don't really particularly like that. Oh, fucking crawl over me. Fucking crawl over me. Just go ahead. Crawl over me. Yeah, gross, man. Jesus. I don't want to die again. I think last time I checked... Heather's help was in yellow. And it's in orange now. It's a good time to use a med kit. Ooh, a blue! That's nice. Ugh, let's just run. Run for it. Run for it. Check the map as we go so I don't miss anything. That's a... Uh, that's a locked door. Can we... Unlock. Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> Alright, let's take a moment. That other door is also locked from the from this side. So let's just continue our run. We gotta fuck. We gotta run the other way though. Oh man, okay. Okay. And this is awful. I are there three of them? Awful. <laughs> awful. Okay. Running. Yeah, there are three of them. Four. Four of them. Four of them. Four of them. Man, fucking tastic. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay, I missed the door. I don't think I missed the door. This place doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna go through every, like, every door that I see. It's okay. This place doesn't make any lick of sense. Oh! God damn it! <laughs> you little bitch! You sneaky little fucker! You got me! You got me good! Hiding underneath the bed like that. Damn. Fuck. At least there's only one of you here. Jeez. Just one, and I still can't deal with it properly. Come here. I'm gonna stab you in the butt, dude. Okay. Kinda off with the distancing. Distancing is a problem for me. Uh, it's mostly because I refuse to fucking use the things I have. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look look at look at that. God. Sorry, Heather. <laughs> Keep on getting beat up because of me. Okay. 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 It's just a simple door. Gonna come out, gonna run straight. Gonna come out and run straight. That's locked. Going through this door. Okay, we're good. There's more of them. There isn't as much noise as the other room though, so... Perhaps... I can just take it. I don't see it, so we're gonna have to encounter it. Fuck. <laughs> Okay. This is getting me This is getting me all flustered and shit right now. I'm, I'm just getting all flustered. All sorts of flustered. Go in, run straight. If there's a door on the right, go through it. Okay, can't go through it. 
Was this a door? No, it wasn't. And through here. I don't know. I think. I think what gets me, what gets to me about those things that crawl on the ground is they're kind of hard to hit. Cause I haven't figured out a way to like point like point the gun down, you know? Like I'm just walking backwards right now. I can't really point it down. So they're kind of hard to hit unless you charge the melee weapons and she does a downward smack, and uh, they rush at you pretty good. Don't need any more coins. Something about a thief. Oh fuck. My complaints are born out of my suckage, though. I'm sure if I was a little bit better at this, a little bit more calm about these things, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. <laughs> okay, vending machine. Kinda thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. Hey, what could be this? Well, it's a problem. There's no problem with getting something to drink here. Of course, you're not going to be drinking that. There's nothing in there. <laughs> A key. Okay. A life insurance key. Right. Which um, floor was the life insurance building on? I'm seeing a bunch of drawers. I'm going to be thorough this time, unlike the time inside the room with the rope but it looks like nothing's happening again, so off to the life insurance place, where would that be? First floor, perfect. No, that's not perfect. Okay, here we are on the first floor. I stopped by the second floor first though, so that I could save the game. Yeah. I had a feeling that if I didn't, I would be dead very soon. Shit's about to go down, yo. Where to first though? Let's go up, and then head down. Yeah. Feels relatively safe. I'm walking away from all the crazy sounds. Is this door broken too? Of course. <laughs> okay. Right. One way to go, and it's toward the sound of whatever the hell that is. Probably more of those crawling fuckers. All right. They don't spend a lot of time like knocked out on the ground. Which kind of sucks. Please stay down for three seconds. Three more seconds. Okay, good. How much we got? How many spare bullets? Still 85. Oh, that's because I picked up another pack of 10. That's right. That lock's broken too. That means we're going to be walking closer and closer to that thing. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I can take this one too. Uh, do I have to, though? Maybe I can just sneak up to it and destroy it with the katana. Is that actually the mall first and then the katana? Surprise, motherfucker! That was just, that was just taking advantage of the situation. <laughs> Fuck you, you stupid piece of shit. <sighs> Bloody room. But it's the only room left in this corridor. Yeah, it's the only room left. There's gonna be something of interest in here. Definitely. There has to be. Otherwise, I'll just be... 
extremely confused yet again. Papers. I see papers. This is the end of that crappy fairy tale I found. Ooh! The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and, granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me. The monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui ego eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess and they all lived happily ever after. Too fooey, ego eris. Weird writing. <gasps> oh. What was that? That was a response to the spell, Heather. Too fooey, ego eris. Are you the priestess? Heather, are you the priest? You, you are the chosen one. Heather, you will bring balance to Silent Hill for you are the chosen one let's get you to that monster let's see what happens I think this was the way to get yeah two foy evil errors here I'm thinking that we're gonna have to burn him with the matches or something something simple oh shit she said it seriously there's, there's a book on the ground. It's the first part of the fairy tale. Cool. Let me try rereading it in the right order this time. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster, and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Huh, take that. Their swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. This first part, I'm sure I've read this somewhere before, but I feel like that's the first time I've ever read that ending. Oh well, whatever. It's no time for us to worry about that. I just want to get home. Yeah, I just want to see your home too. Hilltop Center. We're at the Hilltop Center. Last Drop Cafe. Paper. Apartment is the other way. What's this thing blocking the path? Am I still having that nightmare? So close to my home. My home? My dad. Is he okay? I'm sure he is. He must be. I wanted to check out what's on the floor, not the caution tape. Nothing to see on the billboard. Here's that. A sign for the cafe. Well, that's the one I was just in. Oh, so the game started. Here, not the mall. Is that right? Well, we're pretty... Oh, we're on the street. Okay. Hilltop Center, that could be connected to the mall, actually. I mean... May actually, maybe not. We went from the mall to the subway, rode the subway for a while, then ended up at Hilltop Center. Oh, I mean, and there was a sewer in between, of course. Just gotta be sure there's nothing else to see around here first. I'm sorry, let's take a moment though and recap what we know. There's this weird lady who 
is hassling Heather. Hire Douglas, a private investigator, to track Heather down. Vincent is just some fucking creepy weirdo that knows us personally and has called us the chosen one. Don't know much beyond that though. Oh, we can go into the alleyways. Of course I don't have a map of this area, don't know why I bother checking. Where the fuck am I? And why is it that we can go through these ba- Oh! Maybe I ended up going the right way. Daisy Villa- Yeah, I ended up going the right way, oh my goodness, how? Oh, unless of course everything loops. Does everything loop? No, you know what, I was, I was about to go backwards and find out if everything just continuously loops until we get through this alleyway, but I don't really care. Let's just go inside. This is Silent Hill, it probably does loop. Which building is this? This is not my place, okay. Let's see here. I see something beyond this really thin wall. What is this? Just a dust chute? Laundry machines, one path to go. I think we live in room 201. Here's 105, not my place. Gonna knock on all our, like, bother all our neighbors. But we can't. Gotta get upstairs somehow. That's not my place either. I know what place you have, Heather. You live in 201, I think. Stairway. I don't need that. My apartment, <laughs> never mind 102. Have it backwards. Got a backwards. Yeah. Had it backwards. Okay. Well, ah, save point. Approximately two hours left in the game, which means there's more stuff to do beyond. Oh, here it is. That's a pretty simple looking door. No, no, it's not. And the reason I said that was because the save point was right next to a very complicated looking door. And it's only complicated because it's actually... Oh, is this the exit? But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? Oh, okay. That is the exit. Got it. Got it. That must be the front door. We came in through the back door. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Oh yeah, Heather, time to find out who did this shit. Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. Get you 
for this! There is another reason. To fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you'll understand why. No! I'll never understand! You must try to remember me, and your true self as well. Fuck boss fight. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. Um. First things first. Heal. Now we're in blue. I feel super comfortable, which means I'm gonna be reckless. <laughs> Just watch me. <laughs> this is gonna be too fucking reckless. Motherfucker. Oh. Okay. Gotta be. Gotta be careful. There he is. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than just gunfire, right? But that's what I said about that worm. And, uh, look what happened with that worm. The answer was to just smash it a lot. Okay. Just smash it a lot. So that's what I'm gonna do to this guy. Just smash him in the nuts. Stomp this- oh! Stomp this fucker in the- the nuts. <laughs> not the knife. Definitely not the knife. Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Okay. It keeps blocking my shots. Yeah. What? Okay. Hmm. Oh, my goodness, he hurts. This is no joke. He actually kind of hurts. You want to fight, man? You want to fight? You want to go toe-to-toe? I'll go to toe to toe with you. Damn it, I suck at going toe to toe. I've had no practice. <laughs> Come on. Oh, uh, you know what? Fuck this shit. This is dumb. Oh god, this is really dumb. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. Maybe shooting him in the back is the right thing to do. I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Not even gonna complain. Cause I don't, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure how to fight him. So there's nothing to complain about. Wasting a. Wasting a. Shotgun shells isn't gonna be a valid complaint right now because I'm just not exactly sure when the what the correct timing is. Come on, Heather. Finish this guy off. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Get revenge for your dad. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, guy. Just die. Thank you. Fall to the ground. That's okay. This time, actually, hold down the ready button when you smash it. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. Ugh, poor Harry. Poor Harry. He doesn't he doesn't deserve us. I don't remember Silent Hill 1 much, but I do remember playing as Harry. There's n nothing but Have you seen my daughter? Cheryl! 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 Yeah. That's all I remember about Harry. And that sexy blonde cop. Then 
don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault! If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. Poor Heather. Oh, he didn't go. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. What do you do now? I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. Find her. I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you going to get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by and we'll finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, no wonder he was like just so ready to to like help out, I guess. Oh, Heather, Dad's bookshelf. <laughs> She's just gonna leave his body on the bed. Just gonna leave him there like that. I guess that's the most reasonable, rational thing to do, especially since this game is so irrational. Aww. Find that woman and I'll make her pay, I promise I will. I wonder if my dad would be mad at me for thinking that way, maybe. I'll be back, Dad. I promise I'll come home soon. As long as she doesn't end up dead, I don't I wouldn't really care. But then again, you know. It'd be best for Heather not to follow the dark side. Don't be scared, Heather. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. I don't want her to suffer. <laughs>